Hey guys, welcome back to Man Family Farm. Here are our little piggies. The one on the left over there. I don't know if you can see it. Got a little bit of a skin issue. Looks like it's clearing up, but sprayed them with some ivermectin. Um, should clear up and take any any of those issues away. Um, so he's actually one a he or a feeder um, so is that second one from the right then this one and then that one are our gilts so looks like everybody's doing good everybody's healthy tearing up the place but loving it here's our water <clears throat> made four splits or three splits I guess from the hive that's here <clears throat> Here's our girls. Looks like they're doing good. One still got her coat. But everybody's eating, running around good. I'm trying to keep moving a little bit because three of those colonies over there don't have queens, so they're a little pissed. Filling up their waters. <clears throat> and then on top of that it's storming we had one already passed through we're supposed to get some more tomorrow so eventually here you see how they've already gone through a lot of this we will open it up to this area um, we are having an issue on getting Premier One. I haven't looked in a week, so I hope they're in stock. But Premier Netting for the sheep we got. So we're going to get them for the little piggies too. And then that way we can move them around and have them destroy a big area, come back, reseed behind them, have them stomp it in, or I can take the tiller to it, whichever. And that'll kind of show their fertilization rates and <clears throat> the plan is to possibly make two garden beds up front next to the greenhouse that will one will keep pigs in over winter possibly um, with some of these shelters or make one or two more of these and put them in a u-shape um, and then rotate gardens so basically these are our little fertilizers um, we know it works just depends on if two pigs is enough because if you go back and watch some videos uh, from farm builder <clears throat> um, that's what he does he has oh good lord I don't know how many um, I think he has like 100 pigs, something like that. I don't know, he's one of the largest pasture raising uh, pig farm that there is in the country. Hey girls. So we think that one back here in the back is pregnant. These two slimmed down. We think it was their winter weight. At least that's what we're saying. We don't think they are, although this one is a little heavier than this one, then that one is definitely heavier than this one. Plus she still has her winter coat, so we don't know if, <clears throat> since she's pregnant, that all of her energy is going towards the baby. See how wide she is compared to these other two. Hey girls. Say hi. I know the fence is hot. Yeah. You miss a good rub. But they're all friendly. That one's our curious George here. <clears throat> She's really sweet. But they're all... Uh, like I said before, sheep are new to us, so... They're all kind of bagging up a little bit, as you can see. But we don't know. We're waiting to see. 
They are, they are, they're not, they're not. But we had to shoot a rooster the other day. Kept attacking the ducks. I think that's like six or eight ducks he tried to attack this year, so. Uh, he almost killed one a year or two ago, so. He got the bullet. He actually took 345, so I'm quite impressed. Um, but yeah, so he's in a compost pile. Uh, which we started. We actually threw some grass clippings on it. And we need to turn it here in a day or so. Um, get everything going. Just with the price of everything, it's just ridiculous. So, mow the yard, rake it. Eventually, hopefully, we might get a bag system for it. But we'll see. I think it's like 500 bucks. And between the cost of feed and gas now, 500 bucks goes a long way for some other stuff. Well, maybe not a long way, but it goes for some other stuff. But yeah, um, <clears throat> our chicks, meat birds, and our um, turkeys, and our new hens are coming uh, Wednesday. They actually get shipped out tomorrow. There was a mix-up, um, so hopefully this resolves that. And then... We will hopefully hatch our own turkeys from the ones that lay on them, or we have an incubator we can do. If you guys want to buy hatching eggs, um, we could do that. Uh, it'll be kind of an immediate thing, and you would have to be local. Um, I'll have to look into shipping them. I know uh, someone else does it with goose eggs, so I might have to send him a message and check it out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah so yeah we got the gardens done greenhouse is done threw some wildflower mix down um, planted a crap ton of tree seeds from uh, it's on a previous video we started a potato pile um, I don't know if you can see it so let's see if I can get my finger in here. So this right here is our potato pile. Here is our compost pile, which Ricky is in. For those of you who don't know who Ricky is, he was our rooster. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, you're friendly, aren't you? Yeah, good girl. Don't touch that fence. <clears throat> so we did finish up our perimeter fence that goes all the way around. Sorry, that was a little quick. All this. Um, wait for a motorcycle pass. Um, but yeah, so everything out here is electrified and everybody's going to get a good hit if they touch it. I know, because I touched it. But we're going to finish watering here. I already collected eggs. I already did my Easter egg hunt for the ducks. Um, everything's good. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll post our bee videos uh, collecting honey. Uh, we'll be bottling this week. Uh, I'm going to be doing some. My wife's going to be doing some. So I'll try to get her to make, make sure she do some videos. But stick around. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you later.